So here in my annex session, I already have a component that has one of the mathematically calculated algorithmic features applied. It's a nicer grid structure that's commonplace in aerospace design. Features such as these have relied on advanced programming knowledge to construct them. But now with algorithmic modeling and the logical rules driven approach, engineers can construct and edit these complex features directly within NX. So let's take a look at modifying the pattern of this algorithmic feature. I edit its parameters, I specify a different count in the U direction, and OK the update. Notice that the pattern updates to my new parameters, something that would be very, very difficult to do without the power of algorithmic modeling. So let's take a look at this particular algorithmic feature in more detail. And to do this, I'm going to edit its definition. You'll notice that the screen splits into two. The top half shows the algorithmic rules in the logic editor, and the second half at the bottom shows the result. I can highlight various aspects of the rule by selecting specific nodes, namely the face that's selected during the isogrid creation, and also the grid that's created using these rules. To modify this algorithmic feature, it's a simple case of editing the rule. Here I'm going to add a cylinder to the vertices of the triangular grid. So I search for the cylinder node and then add it to the logic editor. Now I can start to connect ports from the triangular grid to the cylinder. Here I connect the vertices to the point on the cylinder node. I now want to control the direction of the cylinder. And to do this I'm going to use a face normal node which I search for and drag into the logic editor. Now I can start to connect this node again simply by picking ports and connecting them to the corresponding ports on the face normal node. The output normal I then connect to the direction port on the cylinder node. I can also include inputs into my logical rule. Here I can input the size for the diameter and the height of the cylinder. I can then also preview what the output is going to look like. I'm just going to zoom into the part of the bottom and then preview the cylinders. If I want to change the size, again, I can do this dynamically, just modify it, and you can see the cylinder updates. Finally, you need to create the cylinder itself. And to do this, I connect the body port to the output node. And now I can save as this logical rule into my library. I give it a name and add it into a particular folder. And this will now be ready for me to reuse for another design. So I can exit the logic editor and now look at applying this new rule to a different design. So I'm going to change my displayed part and then go into the reuse library where my other algorithmic features are stored. I have previews of some of them and then select the one I've just created. Notice that the dialog now includes the cylinder. I can type in specific values for this triangular grid and then select the face. OK the command and the feature is created. Now the algorithmic feature is associative which means that if I modify the base geometry in this case I'm going to adjust the sketch profile. When I update the base geometry the algorithmic feature adapts and updates to this new shape. So that's algorithmic modeling. The ability with inside of NX to create complex shapes to modify them using the logic editor and then to reapply them as a template to a brand new part.